now Joe's going to explain how to properly caulk and seal a venting system. Basically we fold these inside so when our water hits it runs down the tube instead of back behind if you can see here if it's not folded over it'll run back behind there and then basically it's going straight down our pipe instead of using the flashing. So this wants to be curled over. You have to make sure when you do it, it's one reason they use PVC is that you don't crack this. So you want to cut it so you can get all of it in there and have a good seal bond. So if you're over the top of the pipe, then everything's going inside there. And I'll just take my hammer and form it a little bit. So make sure we get all the way around. Now, when the water hits, it goes straight down, and that's obviously an X-take, so it goes right down their toilet, their sink, or whatever it means. And then, uh, or wherever it goes, whatever the means is for the pipe, and then it's done. So we're not gonna be touching this valley with, we, we end up, our valley was able to stay on this side of it, which is good, because a penetration in the middle of the valley, valley's penetrations are the biggest cause of leaks. So when they're in this area, you have to follow protocol on the way you flash your shingles. Otherwise, you'll, you'll end up with a leak. So I'm just gonna show you, just we do a nice bead, make sure everything's clean. So you get a nice bead down and it has to stay consistent. This is double flash. So underneath this flashing here is also tar, which we put down, we nail it and then we tar it again. So if by chance it were to come through the shingles, we still have layers. So what I like to do is I take a nice bead and I'll walk it around right inside there. And when you cut your shingles close, it helps to uh, get that bead looking nice. And you guys are ultimate roofing and windows doors, so you know how important a bead is. So I'll go ahead and take that off. Keep it from getting on your fingers. Use a little bit of water, and then I just like to make it so there's no, that you can't see any uh, bulge, so you know it's, it's consistent and the water can't get in there. And then also you keep your clean look. Not that anybody can ever see what your roof looks like up here, but if you love what you do, it's important to keep it nice. Now we have a leak proof pipe. Our lead goes down inside, so we're use, utilizing the whole, the flashing itself. Water comes down, follows down through, or it falls out, it comes into here. We have a nice bead with a triple flashing system. She's good to go. On the roof system, some people put a mesh. I say that a mesh you can put in there, find a piece of metal, uh, gray mesh, anything, stuff, and mesh, stuff like that, to put in there for pets. I have never personally heard of a pet going to say that, more or less, in the neighborhood, stuff like that. They look, I've never heard of it. The only other thing I don't like about it is say you have your mesh on there, and you have trees around, and it needs to clog up, and it'll come up and your exhaust on your bathroom or your fan or whatever is not going to get through and that can lead to a serious problem. You know, so we, just, we leave that flow. That goes right down in the septic and sewer so it goes straight down and we're good to go. Gotcha. So that mess actually could cause more problems than it really it's helps. It's definitely going to. And if a like, animal goes down there, he's probably going to be pretty bummed out because he's going to be in a river. <laughs> so we bend these vents and what do we do about that, Joe? The reason we bend them in is because just a temporary flash like if you come over here and look at this one, Right now, all our water that hits here would be fine, regardless. But if we have a rain, you know, of course rain's gonna come into this pipe and that's okay, because it's going down in the septic. But if you come over here and look in here, this vent, you can see in between our flashing and the vent. Well, if you come down in between that vent, well now you're going all the way down past the flashing right to the deck board. Now granted, we do put our tar and stuff underneath this. So it's a little tougher for the water to get in, but there's nothing stopping it from building up and building up. And then eventually find, we all know water finds a way. 
So when we cut this down and we fold it inside, then you go back to this one here. And when the water hits, you can't see nothing on the outside. So our water hits and it goes straight down the tube like it's okay. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get our latest videos and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Paradise Exteriors here. Thank you. Have a paradise day.